What's up, folks? What is the up? Welcome to round three, the finals of this uh, Swiss draft. We're on the play, and we're keeping the sand. We're going to be greedy because this deck has uh, been been having all of the luck so far. It's going to continue to have all of the luck, and it's going to win. Yeah. We're going to 3-0 a, a Swiss in our second draft on this channel. Yeah. That's not going to happen. But I am very pleased with how well this deck came out in the end. Another black player. Okay, cool. Oh god, we drew. Fell out our sovereign. That's a little awkward. Let's open with his little brother, the cub. Um, yeah, I, I wonder how often fell out our sovereign's second clause has actually been relevant. Ooh, black, blue, and jest. Interesting. Well, no attacking to that. We didn't draw our third land, which is making me a little sad, but. I mean, I, this is a deck that can survive reasonably well on two land if it needs to. Hopefully we draw it next turn. If we don't, uh, then things are going to go downhill pretty fast. Based on... yep, I figured. Figured that was coming. Okay, mm, Okay. well, we're going on the defensive then. Shields up. Can't do anything about that. Can't do anything about that at all. Don't draw the third land, you don't draw the other third land. Hopefully I draw it next turn. In the meantime, I'm just gonna sit back and uh, hope for the best. But I think we're probably gonna lose this game now. We're two turns behind our opponent. I mean, if we go runner, runner, runner lands. Oh. That's awkward. That's super awkward. Uh, I'm not blocking that. Uh, I'm actually kind of glad that got out of the way there. So you draw lands. I didn't. Ooh, you're not a land. That's. It's getting awkward. It's getting very awkward now. Okay. Yeah, we probably lost this game. We probably lost this game. Oh my goodness. Wow, this is becoming super awkward. Uh, so we're gonna discard Angel of Renewal because I'm pretty unlikely to hit that. Perhaps I should describe it with Night Watch and say, but the Night Watch is a 4 5, which will have some relevance. But yeah, this is awkward. Fortunately, our opponent's not doing anything. Will I trade my Felidar Sovereign for a trick? Yes. Will I trade it for a Dominator Drone? Yes. Like... Oh, okay. Hey, Swamp. Perfect. Not as necessary. Here's where things get more interesting. I draw land, I'm slamming the archive because I need to get my mana up fast. Oh god, human processor. Well, fortunately for me, that can get shear dropped. Unfortunately for me, uh, I take seven in the process. Probably. Scratch that, I definitely take seven in the process. Because I need, I want to keep my creatures alive. Because they're holding him back pretty well. Okay, but we're on the track. We're on a good track now. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. Yep, I'm just taking seven here. My deck doesn't really mind getting down to a low life total because it gains it back really rapidly fast. A land, an on top land here would be really good because I can drop the archive and then still use your drop. So, we're doing our best to claw our way back at the moment. It's not super happy, but you know. It doesn't untap. Oh, great. It's a good thing it's untapped. 
Gosh. Pontius has so much stuff here. Complex Chandler. Well, we're just blowing up your dude. Because I cannot have you have that ruined processor. Thank you very much. Ruined processor. Ruined? No. You're not getting him. Um, do I allow him to ingest one here? I think I do. Yeah, I'd rather start getting in. Also because I take the, I take down two of his dudes if he does. And that's not a good... I don't think these are good trades for him. Yeah, I didn't think so. Ah, perfect. Uh, and... Um, let's drop the night watch to get aggressive. Get encountered. Get encountered. That's fine. Hopefully he doesn't have the six mana nine nine because I can't deal with that. Do anything smaller than a five five. Pretty handily. What is this? What is this? Scaffolding distance. Ox. That's pretty awkward. Uh, but I'm kind of glad he did it on that. Okay. This is interesting now. So he's ingesting a card off. I want to know what it is. I wonder why. The only one else, dang it. I wonder why he did that. Because there's nothing that requires three, is there? As far as I can't think of it. Okay. Time to turn this game around. Felidar Sovereign enters the stage. Boom. I'm a big cat. How do you like that opponent? Didn't think so. Didn't think so. Um, you know, I just don't want to... I, I, I want to try and connect with the Sovereign if I can. So you're going to sacrifice a creature. Assuming that Stone Haven Medic does not increase my clock, there's no reason to do it. Okay. This is good. This is good. We've got a two turn clock and removal in our hand. What is this? Silence turn? Okay. Don't care. It can get dead. So, oh wow, we won. We won off a off a semi dodgy keep. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, so our opponent is blue black ingest. Um, once again, fortified rampart coming in. Fortified rampart being very good against everything that isn't a super late deck super good against the ingest deck because it needs to get in early. Yeah. Cards that aren't so good against that. Dominator your drone. <laughs> Cards that are very good against it. Planar outburst. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Game two. This is going super super well. Can we keep this hand? Uh yes. Yes, we can. Turn two play on the draw. Uh, draw any land. Two top two plays. Um, same as last game. And it's just super viable. And we have got the land on turn one. Uh, also, rapidly doing the math in my head. The odds of that happening are pretty high. If he uses horribly awry in a fellow or cup, I really don't care. 
Mono blue playing against here. Interesting. Oh, let's swing with our dude. If he has the counter spell, he has the counter spells. Uh, do I play around the counter spell? Not really. I just need to do. It. I need to be aggressive. If he counters it, he counters it. If he doesn't, he doesn't. He's got the counter spell on side. By the pause here. Yep, he's countering it. Oh, he's got scatter for the winds. Okay, I didn't expect that. I know he also has spell shrivel though. Scatter of the winds is a good card though. A good card. I'm gonna drop the cost of healer here because it does the same amount of damage as the sharpshooter next turn, but I also gain two life in the process. Also, my opponent's not doing anything. He's a very slow black blue deck. Black blue control your deck. Now he's got a three five. Great. Great. Okay, we're drawing a red mana. Um, three, never sharpshooter. If we could draw another that untapped land, that would be amazing. And that's a swing for basically a million. I'm gonna swing for six. Uh, what is this? Oh, Death as Mm-mm. That's not good. That's not good at all for me. Uh, I need a way to kill that. I need a way to kill that. Uh, that Captain Driver puts a clock on him. Jump the Deathless Behemoth for days. <laughs> He's just bound to blunder with the pen. Okay. I can take six here, I think. Yeah, this one time. Yes. Perfect. Also have a monarch here familiar now. You can't attack. Because it has death touch. And I'll soon play a Calastria Night Watch. Oh, I'll always reclaimer. Uh, what's that? That is when it ETBs you can process an instant or sorcery back. Ah, which he will have. Oh, that's super awkward. Oh man, I even drew that and everything. Well, I'm just gonna drop my watch. I'm gonna hold the sandstone bridge because we can use it when it has flying to give it flying and vigilance, so that it connects for five and stays back as a blocker. What's this ruin processor? I'm not surprised he's doing that. I'm not surprised he's doing that. Um, welcome to Mathsville, population U. Oh, that's awkward. Oh. Random value we're gonna give him. Plus one plus one vision still on the turn. Yeah, well I mean he did a top deck, uh, a ruin processor. But I'm about to drop an oblivion so it blocks it really, really well. I'm, so I'm taking seven in the process, I think. Uh, am I? Nope. Not even. Okay.
Welcome to Oblivion Sower. He's countering Oblivion Sower, which is amusing. I don't get it, but say that say your lands. Just all lands. Yeah. Give me your lands, boy. Also, we had unlocks, despoiler. Ooh, I'm super glad I got rid of that. And clutch currents. I'm also pretty glad I got rid of that. Cool. Claimer. Are you gonna get back? Tan spreads, bone splitters, bone splitters. You gonna use that? I wouldn't be surprised if you did. Ooh, that's good. That's pretty good. Not do this intentionally. That's right. I'm killing your guy. The most awkward way possible. I'm gonna get back my oblivion sower because you really you, you didn't demonstrate much ways of dealing with that. Yes. You have bone splinters, but it's not gonna do that much for you, is it? because I can shrink it so that it can't actually kill anything. I don't end up casting my Oblivion Sower, but I don't care. I connect for six. So I know he has a kill spell in that, but I mean, it's it's both splitters, but I don't mind. So, okay. I'm a little sad about it because he gets his culling drone on the house. Cannon fodder, but whatever. So let's do it. It's Oblivion Sour. I know what's in your hand. No, just all the lands. So this is good. And I still have my Hagrid Sharpshooter up. So. Work your attack roll. I'm using my sharpshooter here, but I don't need mine all that much. I'm making him have to use his Olamog's Reclaimer as his cannon fodder. Unless he drew a creature that he can use as fodder. Because if he does, he's dead. And I click attack with all. Did Oblivion Sour Recursion win? No? What is this? What is this? Scour from existence. Okay, can't say I saw that coming. Can't say I saw that coming. Okay, okay. You're gonna use bone splinters to trade the two off as, as well. After attacking a no. Oh, there's no reason to. There's no reason to. Okay. We are in a stalemate, but he's on one. I'm on 18. I can... There are I, there are a lot of ways. Okay, well now, now he has a creature, I don't. This is awkward. Very awkward. Well... I'll just read. Oh gosh, and he's drawing a bunch of cards. I need to find a way of getting one point of damage in. He needs to find a way of, of preventing me getting one point of damage in. I've taken out his room processor. I've taken out most of his big dudes. Um, or what is this? Endless one for ten. Holy crap. 
that's uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. You know what it doesn't beat? Two creatures. Two creatures on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 mana. I can activate it three times, even this turn. Wow. That's pretty that's pretty hilarious, if I do say so myself. That is a giant endless one, though, I must say. That is a giant endless one. Oh no, he's getting a Scion. Okay. Well, farewell, Malakir familiar, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Five, shrink the dude. Again, but there's no point doing that. I'll just accept and take my nine. Oh, I, sh I should have done that. I should have done that. Maybe you want to take back the ruin processor. There's just no way he doesn't. He has to. Yeah. So I need to kill him this turn or I'm dead. This is making me very sad. This is the epitome of one is not zero. I wish I could disconnect it, but I'm now at six. I have to hit kill him. I've hit him for six somehow. And I don't know how I'm gonna do it. I mean alternatively I just have to survive a small number of turns. Because geez, he's down to five cards now. How did that happen? Could have been sore twice, I guess. Certainly helped. But jeez. Uh, oh my god. Oh my god. Cast of the Waken. Choose a land. With the Mortuary Mire. I forgot I had this in my deck. Blow up everything. And I have a 4 4. That if you bounce, gets me back a dude. I forgot I had that in my deck. Oh my god, I've never been so happy to see a board wipe in my life. Is that game? I think that's game. I'm an editor drone. Okay. That's a jumper. You have to jump. Scour from existence. Okay, okay, okay. I've reset it. You have four turns to kill me. Four turns. Wow, this is amazing. And he takes out a swamp. I drew another swamp. Oh boy. <laughs> this is a long, long game. This is turn 22. Jeez, this is just incredible. Um, slightly feels bad, magic, but, um,. That being said, just good gravy. Um, I'm gonna play this because I can, using his lands. And I gain an A life, and now you can't attack, and you're dead on board as well. Is that GG's? Is it GG's? What is this? Oh, oh, okay, okay. He's on a fortified rampart. What is, what is going on? He's out of deck. Okay. Why did you tell- why, why did he do that? He's, he's going out his own terms. Jeez. I like your guts.
Okay, well, we won. Turns out Oblivion Sower Recurred is a really good card. Um, yeah, so that went awesomely. I uh, got a Gideon Avatar. I wish I'd got an actual Gideon. That guy's worth 40 tickets. These are bonkers. But, uh, yeah, okay, so we'll see you guys in, I don't know, sometime with an 8-4. Uh, I, I would do these more regularly, but so much work. Um, I'd like to get one done sometime before next weekend. Next weekend being the weekend of Halloween. But I will be in Detroit for the weekend, uh, visiting a convention with some friends. So I can't guarantee I'll have anything recorded by then. But if I do, I'll send it on uh, to Alex and he'll upload them if they're ready. Uh, if not, uh, I'll try and get it done the Monday or the Sunday evening if I'm not a walking corpse by then. But yeah, so that went super fun. That was remarkably good. Black, white, life gain, I guess, shenanigans with Oblivion Sower. Oblivion Sower is a really, really powerful card. I honestly, I knew it was good, but I didn't think it was going to be that good. So that was awesome. Uh, but anyway, uh, until next time, uh, oh god, it's really early in the morning. I've been up way too late. When I say it's really early, I mean it's no longer the evening or the night. It is the morning. People are getting up now. Oh, oh dear. I have to do stuff. Ugh. Commitments. Okay, folks. Uh, so you've listened to me ramble for, I don't know, two hours or whatever. Hope you guys had a good time, because I had a great time. This was a lot of fun. Uh, and as always, I welcome all feedback. Um, uh, you can technically follow me on Twitter if you want. I, I mostly use it to follow other people, but if you tweet something at me, I'll reply within a week, because that's about how regularly I check it. Uh, it's at Kyleometers, my username up here, as you see. Uh, I'll ask Alex to put it in the description. Uh, I think I have, I don't remember. Um, anyway, yeah. So... Until next time, good afternoon, good evening, good night, whatever time it is for you. For me, it's time to sleep. Later.